Hello, my beautiful angels. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Isabel Palacios. If you're new here, welcome. I want to talk about something that I've been meaning to talk about for a while since my last video. This is kind of a follow up to my last video. And if you guys haven't seen my previous video, it is all about my faith journey and coming back to Christ. If you are unfamiliar with my channel and me, I was heavily in the law of attraction for many years and heavily kind of in the new age. I was very much a seeker, a learner. I wanted to know all the esoteric knowledge. I explain all that in that video. So if you guys wanna go check it out, I will link it down below. But this video is has taken a while to be posted because I recently moved into my new house. So you can see, and oh my goodness, guys, this house is just our dream. It is not only so beautiful and bright and airy, it's literally our answered prayer because for a long time, my little family and I, we didn't know where to go. We didn't know whether to stay in Texas. We didn't know whether to go back to Puerto Rico where my husband's from and his family's there. My family's here in Texas. Just a lot going on at once. And me as a mom, basically stay-at-home mom at this point in my life, we're just going to put it to God. If this is what God wants for us, it's going to work out. No matter how many ups and downs and valleys and mountaintops you see throughout your journey, having faith and putting your faith in God, especially during difficult times, is going to make all the difference in your journey. And I know it's really hard to do this and it's really hard to trust, especially for somebody like me. I like to want to see all the factors and you know sometimes when you really want something and it doesn't work out you lose faith or you really want something and you're kind of like pushing through it's really hard to discern what God's plan is for your life and hard to discern when to have faith or when to kind of release and surrender or work towards something so I kind of want to talk about that in today's video and make it a follow-up to my previous video and I want to also apologize for any sounds or echoes because my setup is brand new here. I don't think this is going to be my normal filming setup. I want to talk about faith and trusting in God's plan because when you're somebody who's been so heavily into manifesting and wanting specific things and wanting to control outcomes or manifest different outcomes, it is extremely hard to surrender to a higher power and surrender to God's will for your life. And many times God's will for your life isn't exactly what you envisioned, right? Or isn't exactly what you thought was right for you, but it does end up being exactly what you needed when you least thought that it's what you needed. Either it taught you a lesson, either it taught you to lean more on God and to release and realize that we're humans and we're going to falter and we're gonna make mistakes and we're gonna go through hard times or it's going to strengthen you, strengthen your faith or it's going to put you on a path where relationships are destroyed, friendships are destroyed, people will leave your life but that emptiness that you feel will only be filled by good things that God has created for you. My last video, I was in so much fear of posting it. I know it sounds silly, it might sound silly to a lot of people, but the spiritual warfare is real, especially online. I think that when you post things that a lot of people don't align with or maybe the culture doesn't align with, people are gonna come for you and people are going to attack you, people are going to wanna dox you and do different things. I've dealt with a lot of stuff here on the online space. I've been here for more than 10 years already and I've dealt with stalkers, I've dealt with hatred, I've dealt with all types of things. And when I posted that video, it was basically God put it on me to just finally talk about it. I hid the fact that I was reading my Bible, that I was going back to church, that I was following Christ for a long time. From my YouTube, from my Instagram, on TikTok, I was a little bit more open about it because I was like, it's TikTok, it's kind of like, I don't have any followers on TikTok, I'll just, you know, post whatever. And so God finally was like, it's time to stop being so lukewarm about your faith, about your love. And my immense love for Jesus is what made me post that video and why I'm going to continue posting about my faith. These past few months, 
as I've been waiting for my house to be built, have been just incredibly filled with a lot of anxiety and I think a lot of spiritual warfare. So spiritual warfare is to be expected whenever you do decide to follow Christ and it's very normal to be under spiritual attack. The main thing though is not to give it so much attention. I find that whenever I feel that I am under spiritual attack or I feel that whatever it may be, I just pray. I just give it to God and I always remind myself that God is more powerful than any weapon that is formed against me. No weapon formed against me shall prosper and I keep that at the forefront of my mind. The most beautiful thing that I took away from my last video is the fact that so many of you are on the same journey. So many of you resonated, I would say about 90% to 95% of the people who watched that video and commented, I would say, you guys resonated. A lot of people say, Isabel, I unfollowed you because I was on my spiritual journey and led me back to Christ. Or, you know, I stopped watching you because I went back to Christ or I found a new faith in Christ or I'm a new Christian, I'm a new Catholic. So many beautiful things, so many beautiful testimonies in my comments. If you guys don't believe me, go read the comments. And of course, there's people who don't agree. I was responding to some people and then I finally I was like, you know what, I'll just let it go and I'll pray instead. So it's overwhelming to know so many of you are on the same journey. And this has only inspired me to keep creating content like this. Obviously, I'm going to, you know, do lifestyle content here and there because that's what I enjoy as well. Lifestyle, goal setting, femininity, all these different things are always going to be things that are so important to me. But really the most important thing is following Jesus and following what his will and his plan for my life is. And I believe God gave me this platform and God uses different people for different things. You don't have to be a perfect person for God to use you. I mean, just look at all the apostles that followed Jesus, how they were all, you know, different people. Some people were not so good. God will use anyone and God will use you. The beautiful thing of surrendering to his will is to see how God will use you to impact other people's lives and to impact the world. The thing about having faith in God's plan for your life is that you can want something so ardently, you can want something with all your heart, but if it's not what God wants for you, it's probably not gonna come to pass. Why? Because God often has something much greater and much more beautiful for you than you could have ever imagined. And I believe that wholeheartedly, just from my own experiences and there have been relationships that failed that I thought was the one. I thought this was going to be it for me. Friendships or, you know, opportunities, career opportunities. And little did I know, God was protecting me from either certain people or certain experiences or certain things that weren't right for me. I have learned that any time something does not work out, does not work out in the way I thought it would. I started to practice something, which was surrender, right? Surrendering, I think, is one of the most feminine things we can do, is just release and not try to control everything. So I would surrender, and I said, God, this isn't working out. What should I do? Please show me. Show me what it is that you want for my life. And always, 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 he would show up, kind of usher things along a different direction. At the end, I'm like, makes sense. <laughs> this is why. And sometimes you don't know why things happen the way they do for years. And it's kind of like the things that went wrong for me in my 20s or like when I was 20 or when I was in high school or younger, I see now at 30 and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is why everything didn't work out the way I thought my human understanding thought it should. A lot of people don't know what God's plan is for their life. They don't know what it looks like. They don't know what direction to go in. And I was in that place kind of last year, right? Last year I was like, where should we live? Building a business with my husband, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of uncertainty. In those struggles and in that uncertainty is when I would most 
get closer to God when I would most lean on God. And that's how it usually is. Whenever you're happy and everything's going good, you're not praying as much, right? You're not asking or, or talking to God or asking God to intervene. No, you're like, oh, everything's going my way. And that was kind of like my blind spot whenever I was in the law of attraction was that when everything was going good, I was like, yeah. My manifestation is on point and this and that. And then things would go bad and I would start blaming myself. I would start saying, what am I doing wrong? My vibration isn't high enough. I'm in a low vibration. And I would be super nitpicky about everything in my life. I would be really hard on myself. It would create these bouts of anxiety because I'd say, oh my gosh, how am I gonna fix this situation? A lot of anxiety, a lot of depression as well. The most beautiful thing that this journey and my faith in God has given me is peace. And a lot of people will say, well, yeah, you're trusting your sky daddy to fix everything for you. And you're, it's basically the law of attraction. You're just trusting in a sky daddy. And that's where I say, no, it's completely different. As much as I meditated and I did manifestation rituals and I surrendered and surrendered and I relaxed my nervous system and I would have fun experiences and be at the beach all the time and travel all the time and be in a high vibration, it never was this type of peace, this supernatural peace that I feel in my heart. I used to deal with a lot of self-doubt. I used to deal with a lot of struggle with myself and who I was and my identity. And I used to fear motherhood, I used to fear my femininity, I felt like I always had to be doing, 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 or succeeding, 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 very stuck in the material. And now it's like I have a grounding of who I am and I feel I am worthy and valuable even if I didn't have material things because God gave me that. As I trusted in him, he gave me that support. Whereas before I kind of felt like I was in limbo leaning on myself, leaning on my own understanding. But God's plan, a lot of people have asked me and a lot of people question, how do I know what God's plan is for my life? How do I know what he wants for me? And the biggest thing I can say is definitely get into the word. If you don't have a Bible, I would recommend getting a Bible and a translation that you understand. Another great resource for me was getting an annotation Bible or a note-taking Bible where you can read and write notes. That has been so important, is getting into the Word and reading the Word of God to know what God sounds like. Because it's very real that you will get spiritual warfare or you will get voices that aren't yours or aren't God's. They could be other people's voices or, you know, ideas or thoughts that aren't yours or aren't from God. So the way we discern that is by reading the word and reading what God's wisdom says. And God's wisdom, there is no other wisdom like it. It's not about being perfect or having everything perfect or being perfectly holy. Obviously, sin is what separates us from God. But what's really important is that as you are faltering or as you are having a difficult time in life, lean on him. The second thing I would do to discern God's plan for your life is to pray about it and always, always, always ask for discernment before you start something new or you start a new relationship or you start a new job or you apply for a job, always ask God to show you if this is meant for you. And God will show you, God will show up. You just have to have faith that what God is leading you to is right for you because a lot of times our ego does not want what God wants for us. A lot of times our ego will lead us away from God's plan or God's path for us or God's will because our ego wants to control everything. The ego wants what it wants. The heart wants what it wants. And you know, the Bible states that we can't necessarily follow our hearts because our hearts can deceive us. It's a very spiritual thing when you align with God's will for your life. It's kind of like when you are in alignment with that, everything kind of starts making sense. Even if things feel like they're falling apart, it just feels like a divinely led sense of purpose, a divinely led sense of actions, divine support that you feel that is supernatural. Finally, trusting. 
having faith. This one seems like the easiest one. But this is the thing, having faith is one of the hardest things to deal with. The enemy is out there trying to trip you up. The enemy is out there trying to tell you that it's hopeless, that everything is terrible, that you have no future, that everything is bleak or that you're not good enough. And in those moments, it is even more important to cling to God's word, to get into the word and to pray. For me, faith through difficulty, faith through uncertainty, faith through not knowing what's coming next, which we never know what tomorrow will bring. But faith to me has been just the surrender of what I think should happen. God, I trust you. I give everything to you. I give my worries to you. I give my anxieties to you. I give my sadness to you. I give all these emotions I can't handle right now to you. And sometimes that means just me being still not doing anything, which is sometimes the hardest thing is not doing anything. I know people close to me that struggle with not doing anything, right? It's kind of like they need to be doing, doing, doing. And that for me has been the key is that I'm so good at surrendering and so good of just letting go and living my life day by day and being present. Even though sometimes emotionally you may feel stuck or you may feel sad or you may feel worried or anxious, but it's kind of like being out in the storm, being a ship out in the storm and letting the waves just do what they gotta do, right? <laughs> letting God help you through the storm and help you through the difficulty. But ultimately know that God has plans to prosper you. We get so hung up on this world, which we know this world is temporary. We know that we are mortals. This is not our eternal life here on this earth. As much as you want to manifest away the bad or manifest this, manifest that, see that as you being a good person and a loving person that wants good, right? Who doesn't want good in the world? But I think we also have to understand that the nature of this world is a lot of injustice. The nature of this world is a lot of evil, a lot of hatred. We were not of this world. We are made for so much more beyond this world. And I think that has been the biggest piece for me. Not everything has to be perfect in this life because that's not what this life is for. The life that I am striving towards is the everlasting life. If you're a Christian, you believe in the afterlife. You believe in the eternal life. I want to really recommend this book, this book, I'm sorry. It's a movie, it's a documentary actually on the Angel app. So Angel Studios created this. I think they're the ones behind The Chosen, this beautiful, profound documentary called After Death. When I say that that documentary really shifted my perspective, it goes into the scientific aspects of the things that happen when people die and they are resuscitated, they come back to life and the things that they saw and how all these people who had near death experiences or who died and came back had almost identical experiences. So. I believe there's a book about it as well, but I would highly recommend that if you are struggling with the idea of afterlife or you have fear of death, definitely watch that. Not to put your whole faith into that or you know things like that, but to see it as a different perspective because it really changed my perspective on life and death. But know this, this is the most important thing and I hope you take this away, is that no matter where you are right now in your faith journey, God has a plan for you, a beautiful, intricate plan, which I believe he crafted since before you were born. And this may bring up questions of destiny. Do we control our destiny or is our destiny preordained? I think it's a mix of both. I think that through our choices, we can be led through different ways. But when we make a choice to align ourselves with the will of God, that is the path we will take. And just know that no matter what happens, no matter what people do, this is why I don't believe in like the evil eye and things anymore because I believe that what God has for you, what blessings God has for you, or what lessons God has for you, nobody can stop them. Nobody can take those away from you. The thing is that we have to align ourselves with that will, live our life according to that will, and have everlasting faith. And I will tell you guys, I have struggled with my faith these past few months, definitely. I think it's a normal thing. But instead of kind of backsliding or, you know, going back, there was things that were like, why don't you try to manifest this, manifest that, especially when it came to this house, like manifest it, you know, do this, do that. And then I was like, no, you know what? I'm not going to do that. 
I'm gonna keep trusting God, try to be as faithful as possible. Even if I'm struggling, even if you know I'm tired, even if I don't have motivation, even if I don't have inspiration, I'm going to keep striving towards that. Not towards the material, but towards what God wants me to do. God hears your prayers, God listens to you. I've seen that firsthand. For a while I was like jaded about things and I think it's very normal to feel jaded about things because of the state of the world. But then I remember my purpose is not for this world. It's beyond that and it's the same for you. No matter how many broken pieces have been in your path or in your past, God will show you how he puts it all back together. People may leave you, you may lose friendships, you may lose followers, you may lose a relationship, you may lose jobs, you may lose opportunities, but what we cannot lose is God and we cannot lose Jesus. And that's my mantra. So that is it for today's video. I hope it inspired you to keep getting into the word, to keep seeking God, keep talking to God, especially if you feel lost right now, if you feel like, Where's my blessings? Where's the good stuff? Trust, trust that what you are being put through right now, if it aligns with God's will, you're exactly where you need to be. You are exactly who you need to be. You don't need to be anything else. And trust that God made you perfectly for this moment in time. God gave you the talents, the abilities, the dreams, the visions. So don't take those things for granted. Don't take your talents for granted. Don't take your abilities for granted because God may use you and he will use you. So thank you so much for watching, beautiful angels. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. Any video requests, my camera is overheating. Wow. So I guess that is my cue to go. Again, sorry for the audio. I know it's super echoey and a lot of background noise, but as I get settled into this house and I get my studio set up, which I'm really excited about, and my office set up, I have a lot higher production for you guys. But I really wanted to get this message out there with you and help you enjoy this more informal setup. So thank you so much for being here, my beautiful angels. Always remember this, no matter who you may be in this life, no matter what you may be going through or what you look like, always remember your true beauty, your true worth, and your true power always come from within. I love you and I will see you in my next video.